What's up? What's going on you guys? Welcome back to my channel, my beautiful family. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to The Weeknd's unreleased tracks for Kissland. Well, they were most likely, they were pieces of the album, I guess pieces of the songs that didn't make the album or ideas that he had for Kissland. Um, I don't know if a lot of you know, but I am a big Weekend fan and I love his music and I feel like I haven't really listened to this because like, I really haven't had time. But the other day he did uh, Memento Mori on Apple Music and it was to, it's because Kissland had made it um, to number one again which was amazing because kiss line is amazing and um so i wanted to do a little reaction on his little memento mori unreleased ideas that he had so yeah guys let's let's react let's see how let's see how good this goes i might part this into one or two videos we'll see but let's get right into it I like how he does that that voice. It's pretty it's pretty sick. I've always listened to his other memento moris, but I don't know, it just sounds pretty sick when he does that voice, especially like with the Kiss Line edition. It sounds very it feels like it goes with it, that makes sense. It's pretty cool. I I like when he does that voice, but yeah, I just wanted to say that. So this track is like, I guess, one of his old releases called One of Those Nights. Um, and I guess that that was meant for Kissland. And I guess he eventually made it into another song. But with the beat, it honestly, it honestly sounds like Kissland. It's, it's amazing. Like those lyrics and that beat, the production on that was amazing. It sounds amazing. Like it sounded like it should have been on Kissland, but I guess, I don't know, to him, maybe it didn't fit for the album, but I I really like it. Um, just hearing it, it's, it's, it's amazing. Like, never, I didn't think that, that one of those nights was a song that could have been a song in Kissland. And it's crazy because one of those nights is one of my favorite songs and um, it's pretty cool to hear it in a Kissland type of beat production. He's, he's something else, you know, a lot of artists don't have what he has, but you know, 
I'm glad to be one of the few peoples to live in this generation of music, and I really like The weekend a lot, so yeah, let's continue. That this is fire. This is fire. I do like the lyrics. The lyrics itself sounds like it could have been on Kissland, but I guess he just couldn't find the flow for this one, like for the Kissland. And it's, the lyrics sound amazing. That that's that's sick. You know what he's saying, and I guess I guess to him it wasn't. I guess it didn't fit. You know, like because you know you hear adaptation or you hear tears in the rain or you hear um kiss line itself you know this the song it's it's it has like its own it's crazy what it's just crazy what abel can do and as an artist like it, like how you can stick with one song and then eventually boom you know make it into another it's crazy you know it's just amazing but let's just keep going This sounds amazing. This sounds like his old ways. You know, this sounds dark as heck. Like, and I love that from Abel, you know. Me personally, I think My Dear Melancholy is one of my favorite albums because just the way it sounds, because it sounded like him, you know, it sounded like a dark weekend. And hearing this sounds like, like the old Abel, you know, like Trilogy Abel, you know, just the sound of it sounds like it could have been an like a second part of a song you know what i mean so like it could have been a continuation of a song and a lot of exo fans know that what what abel does you know he can make two songs into one you know just like after hours you know it's like a beat and then it goes into sad you know it's it's amazing you know so this is what i could see him doing i feel like just this song hearing this piece of like this piece of the song, you know, sounds like it could have been in a second part of a song, but it didn't make it. But. vocals you know this song honestly sounds like it could have been in trilogy like just the beat and just the way he feels you know like it feels like a trilogy vibe it really does that's really nice i like that a lot i guess you know at that time you know like he was coming from Trilogy, of course, you know. He went from Trilogy to 
Kiss Land, and you know, I feel like this is, I feel like this was kind of his first ideas. I don't know if I'm sure or right, but this sounds like it could have been one of his first ideas and didn't make the album, you know? It's just planning through his head how he wants the album to sound, you know? I feel like this was something before, you know, he made the whole album of Kiss Land. It just feels like, it, it does feel like Kiss Line mixed with Trilogy. I don't know why, but just the haunting beat just Not bad, not bad. It's crazy how he hasn't used a lot of this music or he's tried to put some, you know, put some words here and there to make it into a different song. These lyrics that he uses are nice, but I guess he probably doesn't want to use them maybe because he does, I don't know. You know, maybe he doesn't go with the song. Maybe he doesn't, you know, I don't know. This man is just mysterious and a lot of people know that, but Let's keep going. Next track. I know this song. I know this song because French Montana had played it in his jet 2016. Yes, it was 2016. I always wanted to hear this song. You know, I thought it was always a song from another album. I thought it was a song somewhere else, you know, all of that. This piece of song or whatever he's gonna put out I didn't I I didn't think it was it could have been a piece of Kiss Line. Honestly it sounds like it could have been a piece of After Hours. I'm not gonna lie, it sounds like it could have been a second part of album I, I don't know. We'll just we'll just see. Cause I've heard this song and I've always wanted to hear this song since 2016 and we're in 2020 right now. So pretty hyped for this one. So let's hear it. That is fire. That is fire. That is fire. That should have been a song. It should have at least mean been a single to something else just I guess I see why he didn't put that in Kiss Line you know because I guess he didn't fit the mood of Kiss Line that makes sense but I like this a lot I really do let's continue The ending sounded like sounded like it could have been something else. That's crazy. Like that guy's this guy's crazy. This guy's crazy. This guy has so much good unreleased music that he doesn't want to show to the public. 
and I just want to, you know, because he has good music, you know, but to him, I guess, you know, it's not perfect. Abel, I don't know, man, you, you, you can sing about, you can sing about a toaster, you can sing about anything, bro. It would come out amazing. I'm just saying that, I'm putting it out there. You can sing about anything, bro. And it sound amazing, but let's keep rolling. Beautiful, that sounds, wow. Wow, that, can we, can we replay that one more time? Like, oh. 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 This is music, this is music, this is music, this is music at its best, oh. Hold on, hold on. Oh, them two, they sound like... I would love to hear one whole album of just them. They would kill it. They would kill it. Lana Del Rey is an amazing, amazing artist. Like, her music, it's very unappreciative, but it's amazing. Oh, she sounds beautiful. She sounds beautiful. Lana Del Rey is a beautiful artist and just wow 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 beautiful 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 i don't know how that didn't make a song like i didn't know i don't know how that didn't make an album or anything you know i just that sounds amazing. Another artist can hop on this song with The Weeknd and it would have sound good. That's acquainted. That is acquainted from Beauty Behind the Madness. That is crazy. That is crazy. I did not think that. Damn. To think about that. That that is on Beauty Behind the Madness. That is on the album that came after Kissland. That is the song. So you're telling me that. Abel was making acquainted for, Abel was trying to make acquainted for, trying to make acquainted for Kissland. 
but made it for beauty behind the madness. That's insane. You see, this is what I mean. This is what I mean, but this is what I mean when he makes music and he can transfer it to another song. He literally, he literally made a Kissland version of Acquainted. That's one of his songs from Beauty Behind the Madness, if some of you guys don't know. He made Acquainted as a Kissland, Kissland song, as an idea, and then transferred it into Beauty Behind the Madness. That's amazing. That's 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 a lot see that's what i'm saying a lot of artists can't do that they can't make they can't make an idea into a song because i know this was an idea like i've heard multiple versions of of um acquainted the other one is girls born in the 90s it's, which is really good it's a really good song but you know an amazing album which was kiss land i think personally one of my favorite albums um if you guys did enjoy this video um please hit that like button subscribe um shout out exo you know you guys are my family i love exo i love the weekend if you guys want me to um react to more weekend stuff um i'm glad to do it um yeah, guys. Uh... Bye.